Hack number seven, how to enjoy rejection. I love to say this, especially to entrepreneurs. One of the great secrets in life to becoming successful, whether it's in a business, whether it's working with someone or for someone or in your own personal life, and I learned this selling encyclopedias door to door in my early 20s, is be prepared in life for a lot of rejection. Because if you're prepared for a lot of rejection and it comes, you don't get turned off, you don't get disappointed, like, well, I'm not gonna do this anymore, no one thinks it's a good idea. It's like, I, I say selling encyclopedias, knock on 100 doors, they slam them in your face. You must be just as enthusiastic on door number 101 as door number one. And that's one of the real secrets. And growing up as kids in downtown LA, we all knew that. We didn't have a lot. We knew there's a lot of things that are gonna turn you down. At seven, trying to sell a flower pot on the street. Most people said no, but it's only 50 cents. No, no, no. Soon a waitress in a little restaurant said, only 50 cents, that's really great. She bought it from us. And we went and built another one. <laughs> That, you don't that, give up. That really is like one of the secrets to the universe, in my opinion, that ability to stay as enthusiastic on door 101 as you were on door one when you've That's had it good. slammed in your face over and over and over. How, is that something you can teach? Like, in fact, have you parted that onto your kids? Like, is that something that they've adopted? And if so, how did you pull that off? Definitely. It's just like your viewers of your fabulous show here. They've just heard me say that. Now, if they write that on a piece of paper, be prepared for a lot of rejection. Whether it's in their personal life, that someone says, you're too old, you're too fat, you're too young, you're not gonna do anything other than yes. You've got holes in your nose, you've got things coming out your ears. Whatever is other than yes, this is wonderful. Realize that's gonna happen in life. As soon as people know that, when something goes wrong, they look at a piece of paper, oh yeah, that reminds me. The other quote that I give people a lot, especially entrepreneurs, uh, is any business you're in, whether it's a service, or whether it's a product, or anybody you work with that has a product or a service, always make sure that your product or your service is of the highest quality you could ever make it because you do not want to be, you do not want to be in the selling business. You want to be in the reorder business. Granted, you've got to tell somebody what your idea is and, you know, and how it's going to cure something they may need, but the quality has to be so good that after that they want to reorder it, or if it's a one-time item, tell friends about it. And if people think, and whatever they're doing in life, be in the reorder business, whether it's with a personal relationship, whatever you see right now, you're gonna see again and again and again, it's gonna enhance, there'll be ups and downs. Here's my product, it's so darn good, you're gonna use it. Uh, we started Paul Mitchell, we had no money, but we knew our product was so darn good that if we got in the hands of enough people, they're gonna be reordering it because it was that quality. Service the same way.